interesting point. Just before we go on, Ian Peter, what do you think about structural inequality? Is it becoming structural? You know, it's something that having reflecting what was just said, I wish I'd spoken about more in my introduction as one of the realities that will still be there in two, uh, 2028. I think there is structural inequality. I think there are issues to look at here. I would hope that the internet as a tool for development helps to overcome that. Um, there are issues that need to be overcome that are outside the constraints of what we can do within the field of internet and internet governance, but I do believe we can make a meaningful contribution to that. And I hear what was said. Thank you. And I should say that these are issues that are very much raised with the Internet Governance Caucus and uh, people who wish to sort of uh, involve themselves in that. It's igcaucus.org and we, we would love to have the voices. Thank you. And just very briefly, I mean, that was something you touched on actually in your opening remarks in a way, wasn't it? The, the, the inequality. See, what uh, the whole subject comes under what is called inclusive growth. That inclusive can refer to financial, geography, it can be literate levels, it could be cultural, all those are under inclusive growth. Whatever policy directives that one attempts or suggestions to policy directive one attempts have to keep all these factors in mind because the difference in perceptions and difference in abilities will continue to exist. If the five fingers are not like this, we can't grab anything. If you want to grab growth opportunity, they have to be like this. Then only you can do the moving forward action. So I think the basic idea is to define things which are inclusive in nature. That would be my reaction personally. Thank you very much. Uh, more questions.